What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part three for my playthrough on Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we defeated our first alpha Pokemon and got granted our first star rank. And in today's video, we're going to be moving on with the main story mission, trying to get after our first noble Pokemon, Cleavor. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. So I thank everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. But before we actually get moving on here, I want to actually craft a few things. I want to craft a few potions, craft a few. Actually, we have a decent amount of uh, potions and revives. But I want to craft a few new Pokeballs considering we're heading to a brand new area on this map. And there's going to be tons of new different Pokemon. But something I actually figured out by doing another playthrough on my Twitch page. If you guys are followed to my Twitch page, make sure you guys are followed over there. But this right here is one area. There are like a bunch of different areas. This isn't the whole map. At first, I thought this was the whole map. This is not the whole map. This game is a lot bigger than this, and I found it out over on my stream playthrough. So, like I said, if you guys want to catch more content from me, head over to my stream. We're streaming this. Uh, we're doing a stream playthrough on this game over there. So, make sure you guys head over there and... uh. Drop a follow, all that good stuff. But we break open that rock, and a Geodude pops out. I knew a Geodude was going to pop out due to the rock being all shaky, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to drop a nice little ember, and I want to get off at least half there. This thing's going to tackle me. I thought he was going to use a rollout. If he does use rollout, we are going to die, which could be pretty tough. So you know what? I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it at all. So let's just keep moving on here. We got our items. That's exactly what I wanted from the deposit, and we can keep moving on here and move down to the area. So where we have to go is all the way to that big tree. See it over there? Yeah, we got to make our way all the way over there. We're going to be seeing a cool couple new Pokemon, all that good stuff. We'll be catching them. We'll be doing a bunch of awesome stuff in today's video. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. But dude, this game has been absolutely amazing. It has been absolutely amazing. So far, it's been one of my favorite Pokemon games to begin with. The beginning has been great. Once you get through the tutorial and the part that we're at right now, the game is just so much fun. It's just so much fun. You can legit do whatever you want and just keep grinding, collecting Pokemon, collecting different items, getting after it with your Pokedex, and all that good stuff. But we got a bunch of Geodudes over here. I'm not dealing with them, but I do want this material. But one thing is, if you look down here, you got a Parasic down here with red eyes. And red eyes mean they're alpha Pokemon, meaning they're super, super strong. And if they're super, super strong, they're probably going to kill you. So I tried going down there on my stream playthrough, and I'm not going to lie, that thing is level 30. It whooped up on me. I had to run away from it and just get out of there as soon as I possibly can. But let's keep rolling here. Let's keep moving along with this mission. And what is that over there? That's a Geodude. But I actually kind of want to head down there. Oh, yo, this, dude, what is that? A Starly? Oh, it's a Star Ravia coming after me. The Star Ravia is coming after me, trying to work on me. But I want to actually head down here or maybe try to snipe that Paris right there. This will be a snipe, yo. Can I Kobe this thing? Hey! Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, we just missed it. Can I go higher? Right there. Come on, yo. Catch that thing. Oh, my God. That thing is deep over there. If I hit this thing, you guys owe me $1,000. It's a heck of a throw, but I do want to fall down here, and I do want to get this Paris right here. Can I hit him with that? Dude, how did I miss him? How did I miss him? That's it. We're getting into battle. What's good? Cynical, get out there. No, no, not with the Parasect. Come on. Yo, dude, that Parasect's a problem. He's a problem. I'm dipping out of here. I'm dipping out of here, yo. Leave me alone. Oh, we got a new plant. A sword cat. But, yo, it is just hectic over here. It is hectic. Can I catch this Paris over here? I'd love to catch this one right here. Eat it. And, of course, you know, we're battling this thing. I got to catch it. I got to catch it for the YouTube channel. But, like I said, a bunch of different Pokemon are going to be over here. We're ready to catch them. We're ready to fight some things. Let's Ember and then throw a Pokeball at this thing. That's, or just kill it. You know, or, or we'll just kill it. That's fine. Cyndaquil's just doing work. But we need the XP anyway. That's hilarious. Let's throw, there actually is going to be a Pokemon that falls out of the tree here. Because it is shaking. And it's going to be a Burmy here. And of course there's a Paris right to our left. I'm just going to kill this Burmy. I'm just killing this Burmy. Because we haven't killed a Burmy yet. I think we caught one. Did we catch one or was that my stream playthrough? I'm getting a little confused. But I'm going to actually catch this thing right now. No Burmies over here. And we got Paris over here. Put me, paralyzed me. Nothing is worse when you're trying to battle a Pokemon. And... Another Pokemon is attacking you at the same time. But I'm going to throw a Pokeball at this Burmy. Burmy, come here. And I can actually do the same thing to this Paris. I just throw a Pokeball straight up, and I think I can catch it. So Burmy, got him. Lock him in there. Put him in my Pokedex. Lovely. And I'm just going to throw a... Uh, this thing poisoned me and paralyzed me. That is nutty. That is nutty. <laughs> Get out my face. But, you know, I'm just going to go for a uh, Pokeball here. I'm going to see if I can actually just catch it in one throw. Make my life a lot easier, because you know these Paris are really doing us dirty here. They're definitely doing us dirty. And we catch it in one throw. Awesome. Great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So we get some new Pokemon towards our uh, Pokedex. Two new guys. And we can just keep moving along with the mission. 
So I gotta make my way over towards that way. Lovely little Paris. Oh, do we have a Zubat yet? I don't think I have a Zubat yet. Come here, Zubat. I would love to catch you, Zubat. Hey, do not, do not spot me. I'm in the grass. How you see me, dude? I hate when the Pokemon see me. It's the worst. We got you see me. We got all these guys gonna attack me. And what is this over here? There's a Zubat and there's a little flower. So can I catch a Zubat? Zubat, if you see me, I'm gonna cry. Leave me alone. Cool. Okay, he doesn't see me. I think Paris sees me. And Paris is gonna give away my position. Yeah, he's hit me up. I hit you? Oh, it went over his head, dude. What you mean? Come here, Zubat. You know, we, we have to find a different Zubat because all these other Zubats are just gonna, like, be annoying with us. They really are. But I'm gonna throw a Cyndaquil here. And there's a shiny stone, which means Stardust is in there. Yep, Stardust is there. And we got these Zubats right here. So let's see if I can catch one of these because I definitely want one on my list. I definitely want one in my Pokedex. Gotta go sneak style here. Sneak style for, for the YouTube viewers here. Oh, I can hit him from here. Yo, nice. Get a back strike there, which is awesome. And I should be able to catch him, right? Let's go. Zubat into the Pokedex. Let's keep rolling out here. Switch my Cynical. And he can almost evolve, which could be amazing. Which could be amazing. Yo, I got so many Zubats out here. Zubats are just a pain. Especially at nighttime. I was doing this on stream. Like I said, doing a stream playthrough. It's a lot of fun. Totally different teams and doing a bunch of different stuff. But uh, Zubats at night just get after you hard, man. They get after you hard. They are such a pain. But over on this riverbank, there's a lot of iron chunks which you want to grab. It's really, really good. And if you look across... Nope, it's actually not there. There, there should be an alpha Pokemon that spawns. It might spawn later. Nope, it's right there. It's a Babiro. A lovely little Babiro in the alpha form. Really don't want to mess with him. He is going to tear you up. That dude's no joke. He's no joke. But let's keep making my way this way. Grab these iron chunks because, yo, iron chunks is where it's at. Iron chunks are definitely where it's at. There is a... Badoof over there, or that might be a Babiro, but I want to keep going down this lane and not messing with that thing, because that thing will rip me. I see a few items that I want to grab. There is a stone right there, which I, ca I kind of want to grab that stone. I know there's a Pokemon in there, so, you know, we're going to do it anyway. We're just going to run from the Pokemon after we get that, and Geodude's going to poke out. I'm not dealing with you, Geodude. Get out of my face. I will just run from it. I'm just going to run from it, but, dude, this game is phenomenal. I've been playing more and more of it on the stream, and, like, each spot that I unlock, the game just gets better and better. The areas are huge. You can spend hours just getting yourself immersed into the, the world, collecting all different Pokemon, collecting all new materials, and just exploring a totally brand new thing or brand new game or brand new genre in general that you never experienced before. It is amazing. It really is. But as we make our way up towards this place, we're going to experience a new area, which I absolutely love. There's like Psyducks rolling around here. And there's a bunch of different other cool stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And that is exactly why I hyped up on some Pokemon. And hopefully I can act we can actually verse our first noble Pokemon in today's video. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. And I think we might be able to get a new Pokemon on the squad. A new Pokemon on the squad would be awesome. I would absolutely love it. But let's just keep making our way here. I think that we can actually pick up this. It's a Medicinal Leak. And there's a Psyduck, yo. Brand new Pokemon. Let's lock him down here. Let's get our Sneak on. And there's a Beniri next to him. I would love to catch both of them. Psyduck, can I hit you from here? Psyduck. Psyduck. Right there. Bang, back shot there. Can I sneak up on Baneri as well? Get a back shot on that thing. And of course, Psyduck po pokes out. Can I catch you? Hurry up. I'm just throwing this Pokeball at you. I missed him. Of course I did. How did I miss him twice? There we go. Back shot on the Baneri. We'll catch a different Psyduck. It's to Oh! It's totally fine. I'm going to throw this there. We call it Baneri, which is awesome. And we will get our uh, our lovely materials. The Nab Nab Berry. <laughs> the Nab Nab Berry. That's such a funny name. We'll catch you. Oh my god. Yo, leave me alone, Psyduck. Just sniping me. And can I evolve you, Cyndaquil? I might be able to evolve Cyndaquil. No, not yet. See when I think it's, it might be level 18. But see how the Pokemon... Actually, I can show you guys an evolution right now. We're going to evolve this Starly into Staravia. But whenever your Pokeball is glowing right next to your Pokemon, you can just come into your summary, hit evolve, and you get this cool evolve animation. And the evolve animation is so sick in this game. Look at it. The old Hisuian like, tornado comes around your Pokemon, and poof, you got a new form. Let's go. Star Arabia, add it to the Pokedex. Now we got a stronger Pokemon to pair up with. But like I said, I think we're going to be catching a brand new Pokemon for the squad in this episode, which could be awesome. And what I want to do is catch you, Psyduck. Hey, buddy. You. What a throw. What a throw. Lock that in. Can we get you on the squad? Can we get you? Capture him. Thank you. New Pokemon. And we're going to use you. <gasps> oh, a Dust Tox. Who sees me? What Pokemon? See oh, it's a... I can't stand Zubats. This thing's going to see me now, too. It's going to be annoying. Yep, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with them. I'll catch a Dust Tox later. I will catch you. Actually, I will battle you. I'll take the XP from you. Come here, Dust Tox. You probably give some mean XP. 
I got a Cyndaquil. I totally forgot. Yo, I have a Cyndaquil. I need the levels. I can fight up. Oh, and of course, there's two of them there. I probably should use roll up, but Ember's going to do some big damage. We can take it out in two shots. I could go for the catch here. I could honestly go for the catch. But Zubat's going to do damage to me. I'm in a double battle. This is tough news. And what do I do? I'm just going to take out the Dust Tox. I'll catch one later. No problem. But Dust Tox, you're dead. Get out of my game. Zubat's kind of annoying. Hopefully it goes for like Hypnosis or something. And I can just run this battle. Oh, I'm on one. And of course it goes for Gust. Of course it goes for Gust. Get back here. I'm running this battle. Can I run it? I can. So we can just run here. And now I can actually use my lovely little revive. My lovely little revive. And yo, my boy didn't get XP for that. Uh, bro, my boy didn't get XP for the... Uh, for the what's it called? For the dust stocks. But it's okay. We'll revive him up here. And we will go for a potion right here. Beautiful. Heal up my Cyndaquil. And we will get moving along. We will get moving along. I wish I was able to catch that dust tox, but we were not able to. Let's start my Cyndaquil here. And we'll keep moving alongside this river. Because we, if we just follow this river trail here, we should be thriving. And I should actually be catching a few of these Pokemon, like you, Sina. Come here, buddy. Come here, dude. Uh, let's see if I can catch you. If not, it's okay. I'm just going to move away. And we do catch him. Awesome. We call level 15 Sonic. That's great. And I'll, did we catch a Zubat yet? I think we did. We got some shiny stones over here. Can I sneak? Can I get my sneak thing? But he sees me, I think. I think we just hit it. I'll try to catch you, Psyduck. I'll catch another Psyduck just for my, uh... Of course, we just smoke it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll catch you, Psyduck, for my, uh, Pokedex, but it is what it is. Hi, Baneary. How you doing? There's a shiny stone up there. Can I hook this Pokeball all the way up there to do it? Well, let me get it. Let me get it. Ooh, get up there. Yes, sir. Run it up. Run it up. So, there is a Pokemon that I want to catch for the squad, and I found him over here last time. Hopefully, he's hanging out here. Maybe it has to be daytime. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go ahead over here and look for him. And I see him in the distance, yo. I see my boy in the distance. A Pokemon that I want to add to the team, Scyther over there. Not Scyther. I want Cleaver on my team. I want to add him to my bottom row, and I want to put him on my squad when I get the chance. But we got to catch him. There are two over here. I'm going to definitely try to sneak up on this thing and throw a back Pokeball. They do spot you rather easily, so you have to be very, very cautious. I don't know if you need, like, stealth potions. See, like, yo, he's seeing me, isn't he? He does, see? See what I'm talking about? Yo, he sees me rather easily, but let's throw out my Cyndaquil here. I'm going to deal some damage up onto it. I'm actually going to see if I can actually uh, hit it with a what's it called. I'm going to see if I can actually hit it with a uh, Ember and then get after it that way. Hopefully, I don't kill it. Ember comes out here. It's super effective, and that thing soaks. Please don't burn it. Double hit comes through, and this thing is... It's in a hard hitting stance. Do I go for the capture here? Let's see if I go for uh let's see if I go for a quick move. No, I won't do anything. Uh you know what? I'm just gonna go for an ember here. Don't take it out, don't take it out. Okay. Please don't hit me. He goes for a double hit. I'm dead, aren't I? Nope, he's just adapting it with to the hard stance. So we have a chance to catch this thing. Actually, he's going for quick attack. Eat it. Cyndaquil eats. Awesome, Cyndaquil. Can we catch this thing and add him to the squad? That was this will be a perfect Pokemon for the squad. Give it to me. Come on. Get in here. Get in this Pokeball. Stay in this one. Come on, baby. Fireworks, shoot out. Let's go. And there is our brand new Pokemon. We got Cleaver. Cleaver's going to be on team. And I'm not sure if... Does it have to be a guy form in order to be Cleaver? I don't know. Why do I feel like it has to be a guy form to be Cleaver? But that's a girl form. I'll definitely look it up in my meantime. But for now, we're going to add that thing to the squad next time I go to a base. It's coming into the party. And we're rocking out with it. But let me actually heal up my... Uh, let me heal up my my Cyndaquil because I think we have a battle coming up. The Cyndaquil, here you go. Use this. Let's rock out. Let's get it. Cyndaquil's 5 XP away from uh, actually evolving. Or not evolving, leveling up. Which he might be able to evolve 17. But we make our way finally all the way to this tree, all the way to this destination. Like I said, today's video is going to be awesome. We're going to be exploring a bunch of cool areas and getting some work done with this game. And we added a new Pokemon to the squad. Like I said, Cleavor is coming onto the squad. Rock and bug type. That thing looks amazing. Like, I have to do it, right? I have to put that Pokemon on my team. Like, it's one of the only new Pokemon in this game. I have to throw it in here. Have to throw it in here. But I have to battle this person. It's all good. I believe he has a Glaceon. At least in my other playthrough. Oh, no, it's the Gumi. Glaceon comes later. But Gumi comes out here. And Gumi is such a cool Pokemon. There's Hisuian, uh, not Hisuian Gumi. Hisuian, Hisuian Sligu and Hisuian, uh, Hisuian, what's it called? What is the other Pokemon called? Gudra. This thing uh, goes for an acid armor. That's totally fine. I think this next rollout should be able to take it out. 
did boost defense, but Warlock gets stronger as it goes on here. And he switched to strong style. Get out of my face. He's we're dead. Please don't kill me. Come on, man. That is a huge. It's not a problem with this game, but this game is honestly crazy when it comes to uh when it comes to Pokemon just absolutely dumping on you. I've been getting dumped on so much by just like Pokemon in the battles. They just hit so hard. But we bring this thing down to one. We're just going to quick attack it. We're going to finish this thing off. And again, my Cyndaquil gets no XP. And that's what kind of sticks about just using one Pokemon. It's like, if my Cyndaquil goes down, I don't get XP for my squad. Because eventually all these Pokemon that are getting XP right now are just going to be for nothing. They're just going to go in the trash can. I'm going to get rid of them. Because I want a full team of my fully cool Pokemon. But hopefully she heals me up. I think she will. Heal me up, please. You, you took out my poor Cyndaquil. And I really want it. Heal up my Cyndaquil. But Irina comes over here. She's from the Pearl Clan. And we basically made our way up towards this mountain to figure out ways to tackle on Cleavor. Because Cleavor is a noble Pokemon. And I think you have to take out noble Pokemon throughout the game. I'm not sure. But that's why we came up here. But I know eventually we're going to go back. And then we're going to have to retrack here to verse Cleavor. Which is awesome. But we're just going to come out over here. Keep talking. Bibbidi boppity boobity boppity. And keep moving on with the story. But I just want to head back to a base. Just so I can get Scyther on the squad. Good old Scyther. But I heard you, uh, in order to evolve him, it's kind of like a stone. You need to find this item. You give it to him, and he evolves right instantly from uh, Scizor to... Or not Scizor, from Scyther to Cleavor. So we, we get done that. I can actually fast travel now, which is really, really cool. So in order to fast travel, I just click on my map, and I have to go back to... What is this? I have to go back to the Professor. So I'm just going to fast travel all the way over to this destination, heal up my Pokemon, and add Scyther to the party, like I said I want to do, which is so my boy fainted, and hopefully we get to evolve Cyndaquil in the Koala today. That'd be pretty dope. That would be pretty dope. So let's go here. I want to go to here and change out my party. Uh, I want to see my Pokemon. Let's see. Where's my boy? Scyther right here, yo. With Quick Attack, Silver Wind, Aerial Ace. Oh my god, this thing's had a great move set. Let's move him over and take out Badoof. Badoof, get out of my game. Get out of my game, Badoof. And look at the squad already starting to get rolling here. But... We got to talk to my boy right here, Professor Lavington. He's going to give us some research points and, more importantly, allow us to move on with this mission. But I think I think he just sends us right back. But, yo. Oh, yo. There's my shiny Bidoof. I forgot we caught that in the last episode. Shiny Bidoof. That is hilarious. We got tons of money. I definitely want to upgrade my uh, my space. Or my what's it called? Well, do we have enough rank points? We do not. But I definitely want to upgrade my bag space because bag space is super, super important in this game. So, while we're back at Jubilee City, I definitely want to head in and do that. But Lavinson brings us back to his little destination. He says, yo, Jeans, we got more information on Cleaver. You might want to go over there and get whooping on him. That's exactly what I want to do. So he basically, we basically go up to that that thing right there to come all the way back here to go all the way back there and fight Cleaver. It, I, I, I don't understand it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But still, it's very, very fun to traverse through these terrains and kind of just get after uh, all these Pokemon this way. Let's do it, yo. Let's do it. But there might be a little side mission in between. Eureka, what you find out, dude? We found out these things. Awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Let me go back in here. And I have to go, uh, what do I have to craft before we actually head versus a noble Pokemon? I feel like using, uh, what's it called could be good. Crafting a bunch of more Pokeballs because I know we're going to catch stuff. But we're quickly going to make the tea time. So I have to actually go. Actually, let me upgrade my bags. But like I said, we just have to head back to that area, which is whack. But we're going to upgrade our bag space, I think, maybe like three times. It's getting rather expensive. It's now up to a thousand. Next one's gonna be fifteen hundred, and the next one's gonna be two thousand. And I feel like the more and more it snowballs, the higher amount it gets to actually upgrade your bag. But yo, bag space is really, really good. So that's a high or a really good tip I would uh would say to you guys is upgrade your bag space as much as you guys can. Upgrading bag space is phenomenal. It really is. So we're gonna upgrade it. Do we do it one more time? I'm gonna do it one more time. I haven't really been spending Poke dollars on anything else. Is this twenty five hundred? Yep, twenty five hundred. Hand it in there, send it, give me an extra bag space. We'll save the rest of the cash. So, rest of the cash is sinking in there. Let's keep moving along here. We don't want to teach. I don't even think we have enough for the next one. The next one's over 2,500. We only have 2,700. Let's roll out here. I definitely want to uh, level up my Cyndaquil and probably evolve him before we actually take on the Noble fight. That could be really, really good for us. But from here, do we have any side quests? Always got to check my side missions. So, what do we got cooking? Request mushroom cake and this thing right here, which is Timber in the Woods. Do we have Cricket Tot done? That's the real question. If we have Cricket Tot done, then that's a side mission that we are done. I have to check my Pokedex by hitting it down on D-pad. And where's Cricket Tot at? We do not have him done. We only have... Oh, we have him level 9. What else do I have to do for him? 
catch a few more. Yeah, or defeat two more. Or give it food. We'll give it food on the way up. That's exactly what we'll do. Or on the way back. It don't really matter to me. But there's another side mission here, which I actually want to get. I want to see what this guy wants. Hello, little buddy. How you doing, big dog? How you doing? It's Andra. Hi, Andra. All right, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me up, I'll fling an Orin Berry while they run, distract it. Blah, blah, blah. So what's your mission? Oh, it's a survey course, boy. Hi, hi, hi. What do you need? You want Orin Berries? I have plenty of them. I can gather you them. Berry help. I think we need Orin Berries. Yeah, give them five Orin Berries. I already have them. Here, take them. There we go. Easy request complete. See, I love getting requests like that, like stuff that I'm already done. <laughs> it's awesome. There you go. Berry help. You give me anything? Three revives. That's worth it. So revives are a pain to make. They are definitely a pain to make, but we make our way over here, and this is Mai right here. And do we battle her? Why do I feel like we have a battle with Mai? I don't know. <laughs> I just remember battles. And no, she takes us. Where's she taking us to? Where are you taking me to? Kind lady. Kind lady, where you take... Oh, and I know exactly where she's taking me to. Yo, we are about to get something very, very cool to help us out on our expedition. We're about to get our boy Weird Ear over here. And Weird Ear is amazing in this game. Super, super useful. And they implement it perfectly in the game. You can ride him instantly. Like, you hit your plus button, you can hop on him. You hit your plus button, you hop off him instantly. And that tune is amazing. That's the Diamond and Pearl tune. Whenever you start up the game, that's the tune. I absolutely love it. I love it. My boy Weird here. He's really sick. He's a psychic and normal type. So if any any you guys want him on your team, he's a good Pokemon. He's a nice little Pokemon. Psychic type? Psychic types are hard to come by. So we got the Celestica flute. Celestica flute? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. So in order in order to actually get this, Weird Ear has to choose you. And you guys know in the last episode, Weird Ear chose us. So by blowing this flute, we can befriend Weird Ear and we can ride on his back, which is absolutely amazing. And it works wonders in this game i'm telling you it works wonders if you guys haven't unlocked it yet once you unlock it you guys will understand you guys will understand but i'm actually glad that i'm a little ahead on my stream playthrough than my uh youtube playthrough because now i know what i'm doing i know where i need to go all that good stuff and i know how to traverse through the lane a lot better than i normally did like episodes one and two were a little rough we were like oh how do we do this how do we do this now you guys can tell i'm flying through yo i know exactly how to play i it's very easy to kind of get used to it's a lot of fun. But like I said, we got Weird Ear. And look at this. I can just hop right on him and traverse the land. How sick is this? It is amazing. I actually want to craft more Pokeballs. Actually, should I craft more Pokeballs? No, we're fine. We are fine. Let's get move on. Do, 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 do. Look at us traversing through the land. And look, we can hop off instantly. Grab medicinal leaks. Grab anything we want. Hop up here. Do this. Grab this. And dude, we can just get after it. But I can go here, and I can use my, my Scyther a little bit more now, which is awesome. Look at this. You know, Scyther's right here, chilling. I can hop on Weird Ear, get cooking this way. My boy leveled up, and we can evolve him, which is exactly what I want to do right now. Which is exactly what I want to do. We got some Tumble Stone, and I'm going to hit this up button. And what's that thing making the sound? That's a Parasect over there making sound. And I'm going to evolve my Cyndaquil. So, yo, first evolution. Not first evolution. Well, first evolution for our for a Pokemon on our team. We're going to evolve Cyndaquil into the second evolution koala and i love koala i think it's a really really cool second evolution it just looks sick look at that thing it looks amazing cynical evolves into koala 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 <laughs> couldn't pronounce it and we make him a lot stronger which is awesome so let's just keep moving along here and keep traversing through the terrain i can throw my scyther out here get him some xp and keep moving here i could actually fight with my boy if i wanted to get some xp some xp could be really really good for us Hop off here. We got Cricketot, and I have to actually feed a Cricketot. Because by feeding a Cricketot, we can actually, uh... Hey, you go, chill on me. I want to feed you, Cricketot. Gotta be kidding me. Star Ravia scared him off. He scared him off. And I all I need to do is feed a Cricketot, and I can level it up for my side mission. We'll switch to Scyther, get him some XP. And now we gotta level up two Pokemon at a time, which is pretty cool. <gasps> is that a Pikachu? Bro, that looks like a Pikachu. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. If that's a Pikachu, we gotta catch it. We gotta catch if it's a Pikachu. Oh, it is a Pikachu. Pikachu! Where are Pikachu? No, not Cricketot. I hit it. Can I catch you? I can! <laughs> Come on, catch it. Catch it. No. Let me throw out Scyther on it. I gotta battle. I gotta catch a Pikachu! Dude, there's no way we're not gonna catch a Pikachu. Um... I think we'll just go for quick attack. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. 
Cool, cool, cool. Bring it down to yellow. He's going to use Thunder Wave. That's totally fine. Let's throw a Pokeball at it this way, yo. Pikachu? Come on, yo. Cannot go wrong with this dude. Cannot go wrong with Pikachu. Let's go up into our items and throw a Pokeball. Maybe we should have crafted more Pokeballs. Maybe we should have, but I have to feed a Cricket Dot in order to level it up. But please, catch this Pikachu. Add Pikachu to the Pokedex. I actually don't have him on my other playthrough, which is awesome. Uh, there should be a Cricket Dot over here. Where'd that Cricket Dot go? Oh, there they are. Come here, Cricket Dot. I want to feed you, dude. Yo, eat that Cherry Berry. Well, that's a heck of a throw. Eat up, dog. Can you eat that? One of you guys eat it. Come on, there's three of you. Hey, you guys want a warm berry? I just smoked him. Will that one eat it? Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> Look at him. I just need you to eat a berry. You not like them? Maybe you need a nab nab berry. Here you go, buddy. Son of a bitch. I just wasted a bunch of berries. <laughs> I just wasted so many berries. I'm hopping on weird here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. God dang Cricket Thought doing me dirty. But like I said, we got to head all the way back to that tree over there. It shouldn't be too, too hard. We'll just keep moving along here. And I feel like we need some levels. So maybe we should start battling a few Pokemon. Maybe we should start battling a few Pokemon. Come here. We'll battle you guys. Let's battle up. Hopefully it's a double battle here. There's two Starlies chilling there. But it's only one. It's only one battle. We'll go for a nice, lovely aerial ace. Get off some damage onto this lovely bird. And KO in one shot. That's beautiful. That is awesome. But yeah, when we take out this uh this noble Pokemon, we will actually get a ton of XP, which is great. We'll get a ton of XP for the squad, which is awesome. Sorry, it's level 10. I'll take that all day. And look at that shining rock, rock across from there. Go for another aerial ace. And it's so good to use a different Pokemon besides our uh Cyndaquil. And Scyther does some work. I'm loving him. I'm loving him. Getting some more XP and we Oh yo, this should be good. We should actually throw out our, our boys here. Do we have a cricket tune? We might, but I'll defeat this one. I'll definitely defeat this one. Yo, why does he look so long? My boy looks super long here. <laughs> and he's doing work on Cricketune. But I'll take out this one, and I'll catch the other one. Which can be really good for us. Get one in our Pokedex, and get a KO on one. Which is really, really good. Because, you know, the Pokedex, you gotta do multiple different things for it. So, where's that other one? He is just chilling there. Hello, buddy. How you doing? And I'll have Koala actually get this real quick. Switch to Pokeballs. Can I smoke you from here? Go right that way. Look at that. Nice throw. Come catch you, please. Stay in that Pokeball. Stay in that Pokeball. He hopped out. You son of a biscuit. I'll catch this one. I will catch you. Sneak attack, baby. I think right here is good. That's a good toss, right? Over its head. Right there. Smoked it. Awesome. Catch it. Catch it. I really don't want to waste all my Pokeballs. Ah, dang it, Cricketune. It's all good. It's all good. We'll go here. We'll roll this way. And we'll start making our way across. We shall start making our way across. We're getting some nice XP. But I feel like battling the Pokemon over over the water is a lot better for us. There's a Babiro. I would love to catch a Babiro. I would love to catch a Babiro. Come here, Babiro. See if I can feed him. See if I can feed my boy. Hey, you want an Ormberry? I know you want an Ormberry. Look at that. That's a heck of a toss. But dude, if you attack me, I'll kill you. <laughs> Just letting you know. There's this guy. Let's hit him with a back shot. There we go. Beautiful. Wow, it's eating a berry. Come on. Catch me a Babiro. Add it to my Pokedex. Son of a biscuit. You want some of this? Come here, Babiro. Hit that one. <laughs> Yo, we're running out of Pokeballs. Come on. Can we catch that one, please? Yes. Awesome. We caught that one. Let's make a move. Hop on my weird ear. Actually, hop off and get this iron chunk because, you know, your boy loves his materials. And we're going to get moving. We're not messing with that one because that one's, that one's a tough little booger. That's an alpha Pokemon. Very high on levels. Can do some work on us. But near he's over here. That's cool. Is that Dust Tox respawn? That'd be pretty cool. Switch over here and rip up with you. And then I want to switch over to you and go get the shiny stone over here. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, Beautify spawn. I'm actually going to kill it and get the XP. Let's go, girl. What's up? Let's run it. Run it, Beautify. I got a Koalva now. I ain't playing around. And yo, I can honestly just run into the, uh, the Scythers and probably get some really good XP. I could honestly just take out the Scyther and just get some awesome XP. And that's going to do some damage on me. Please don't poison me. He's burned. Awesome. And I'm actually going to catch it. I'm going to go for a catch here. Even though I'm low on Pokeballs, I should have made more. I'm going to go for the catch here. Low HP. It's burned. You don't get this chance too much. Especially with a Beauty Fly. Got to definitely add it to the Pokedex. Come on, girl. Stay in here. 
Yes, sir. I love I love the animation when you get it. A little firework pokes out here. And yo, here's a mushroom. I think we need these mushrooms for uh for a mission, which is really, really good for us. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna huck that. Hopefully I don't battle. Hopefully I get that the stuff. Maybe if I throw it to the side here, it'd be a lot better for us. There we go. Give me that materials. And I'm gonna actually ride my weird ear up here. And can we hop this river? Oh, we messed up. Oh no, we didn't mess up there. Our scythers up here though. Get up there. Get up there. I know you can do it. Get up there. Come on. Oh, can we not get up there? I'm going to die. <laughs> Come on, yo. Hop on Weird Ear again. Get up there, Weird Ear. Get up there, Weird Ear. You're the best. I actually want to fight these Scythers. Go here. Where you at, Scyther? I see you, dog. You want you want smoke? Wait till I get my Koala back. Then you're all mine. Run it. Run it. I want the XP. I want it all day. I don't really see us in killing me. I see us just outspeeding it and kind of. Oh. Never mind. I think. Oh, we get two turns. Agile style is the way to go. So we should be able to kill it. Agile style, built. At least two half, right? If we switch to strong style now, we should be able to take it out. Right? Strong style coming out here. Finish this thing off. Do him dirty. Get him out of here. Let's go, yo. I love that combo. Switching to agile style to get the first turn and then using our other style on the next one. We can evolve our three bottom Pokemon if we want, but I want to heal up the squad here. We got another mushroom. Give me that. Give that to me. Nice little springy mushroom, and let's heal up the squad. We're not just the squad. Let's heal up Scyther. We're not Scyther. Koala. Get him to level or 83 HP, and we'll get moving on here. So towards the main story, we just got to head up here, and we're going to be facing off with our first noble Pokemon, which is Cleavor. Cleavor is sick, yo. The battle, the noble Pokemon battles are sick, so I cannot wait to showcase to you guys. But it's really cool that we're just riding around on Weird Deer, getting stuff done and rocking out from there. I might have to do some off-level training for my Pokemon. But we'll see. Right now, we're, we're fine with the levels. We're, like, maintaining pace with them, which is cool. But eventually, if uh, if other Pokemon get to, like, a way higher level than us, then I should definitely do some off-screen training. But I'm going to be battling the Glaceon. Like I said in the beginning, I thought Glaceon was the first person reverse. But we have a Koalva here. And Koalva is going to be super effective up against that. Maybe we could just go into... Uh, Agile style and get a two turn. Let's see. Where's Glaceon gonna go first? So now we go first, which is awesome. Strong style really does nothing. It'll just give him two turns. So I'm just gonna go for it. Oh no, we have Flame Wheel. I didn't even notice we got Flame Wheel. Ember's gonna do that much damage. She's gonna go for a quick attack. Wow, we soaked that up all day. And now Mike. Oh, you get two turns. Okay, homie. Oh, thank you, Koala. You're the best. You're the best. And Flame Wheel should be able to come out here and say, yo, see you later, Glaceon. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Level 17 Glaceon. That should give us a great amount of XP. Battle has been decided, which is awesome. Look at that. 591. We go to level 19. Scyther's at level 16, which is great. I'm just going to keep leveling up these Pokemon. I'm so happy we got another Pokemon on the squad. So happy about that. And we should be uh, level 2 on the star level by the end of this episode, too. But she heals up my Pokemon, and she talks about bombs, which bombs are used to fight the noble Pokemon. You guys will see in a second, and she gives us to them. Look at that. A bag of bombs. Loving it. They're a, a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. But here we go. Face off with our first noble Pokemon. This is how you battle Pokemon in this game. So like what you guys seen in the trailers of uh, an angry Pokemon of you dodging it. This is like the first example of it. You fight noble Pokemon and they go on your list. And I feel like that's what you have to do throughout the uh, game. Is you go travel to different areas and each area has a noble Pokemon. And yo, look at this, yo. I think this is one of the coolest cutscenes I've seen in a while. Especially, it's definitely the coolest cutscene I've seen for a Pokemon game so far. Look at this. Oh my lord. This is why I want one on our team. Chops a tree down, does a spinning dash, and hops into battle us. Cleavor, baby. Look at him. Double axe hand. Cannot wait to get this Pokemon on my team. Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. We have to face off with him. And in order to face off with him, we have to dodge attacks and throw these bombs at him. And as you throw bombs at him, it will weaken him. And then, you, what's it called? You can throw out your Pokemon to actually battle him. So look at this. We have to go bombs here. And he's going to blink his eye. And then we got to dodge. And look at that. Now we just keep dodging. And then we send all of our bombs in. And as he's like dizzy and stuff, you can uh, send in Pokemon. So he's going to do that. And we're just going to get after him. And I can actually send in Koalva here. Because he's dizzy. So there we go. We send in Koalva here. And we're going to get after it. Even though Rock can do damage to me. Stealth Rocks. Oh, Stealth Rocks is a move in this game? That's pretty nutty. That's pretty nutty. I might swap my Pokemon. Can I run? Yes, I want to run. I'm going to come back here, and I'm just going to keep battling him with bombs. So that's super cool that you can do that. And can I heal you up? 
I might have to switch to Scyther here. Let me go into my uh my bag here. He's about to attack me too. Let me actually do this. And I think I might have to battle him with Scyther. And you know what? Can I I uh, cannot evolve right now? Actually, I can. I can indeed evolve. And you know what? We're gonna do that. Because we might actually need Luxio here. Oh, we can't evolve right now. That's rough. We're gonna roll out this way. We're gonna let him do his attack. And we're just gonna throw bombs at him. Bombs are the way to go. Get some damage off on him. And he has another move right here. It's like a gust tornado thing. And look how much damage the bombs do. So you can do more damage by taking them out in damage. But we don't really have too good of Pokemon to actually do all the damage to them. But we're making them run into a tree. So you say, you know what? I'm going to just keep ripping on him with the bombs. The bombs are working really, really well for us. And what is he doing here? He's doing something crazy. He's going for a dash here. I'm just going to dip out the way. Yo, Big old dodge. I'm just going to keep hitting the uh, bombs at him. It's telling me to send in a Pokemon. But, dude, my Pokemon get ripped by him. Yeah, do your thing. Dip, sucker. I think we'll bring him down to low health here. And I think I can just keep doing this, right? So you, so you can either go in with Pokemon. Say you have a good Pokemon to kind of like counter it. So say maybe if you pick Oshawott. Oshawott would be super effective up against this thing. So it'd be good to throw him in here. Because it does a lot of damage to his health bar. But I think if you just take him out with bombs. You can uh, finish him off. Let's see. Yeah. I think that's it, right? I think we did it. Yep. Cleaver is dead. We throw our final bomb at him. Boop. And we get all that XP. Yeah. So definitely battling them was not the way to go with my team because, you know, if he uses a rock move on Scyther, we're dead. If he uses a rock move on Koala, we're dead. It's really just not the way to go. It's just not the way to go. So it's easier just to go in with the bombs, rip up, and look at all the XP. This is exactly why I didn't want my Koala to die. We get 1,000 XP per Pokemon and we get so much stuff. But there we go. Defeat our first noble Pokemon. That is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. You receive the insect plate from Cleaver. And what I've been finding out is as you go or go through this game, you start getting more and more plates. And plates, uh, they pair well with Arceus. So I feel like that's what you're doing. You're collecting a bunch of plates. I'm not too sure yet. Like I've been saying, I'm, I'm not even through this game. So it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. But Cleaver dips back in the woods and we take out his noble ability, which is awesome. The strange lightning. But let's see what we have to do next. Honestly, I forget. I know we can, uh, I know we unlock a new area soon. But that's definitely going to be a next episode kind of thing. It's when we uh, traverse through a new area. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's see what she says. But I honestly forget. Did we just go straight to the new area? Or did we like float around here for a little bit? I think we might float around here. I know we have to go back. Get some citrus berries. And I do have... Uh, I actually have to feed a cricket thought, So I might go do that. I might go feed a cricket thought. But yeah, we have to go report to Kamado. Which is a... Uh, which is the, what's it called? The dude back at the, back at Jubilife City. So I can head over here. I know the tree's shaking. A Pokemon can poke out from a tree. I can get some other stuff. I just want to see what's back here. Maybe we can find something hidden back here, which could be pretty cool. But we definitely have to, uh, we definitely have to, uh, craft some more Pokeballs. Any cool items that I missed maybe over here? They should, they should put some secret items or maybe some hidden Pokemon could be over here. Should be really cool. I'm just going to keep doing this, getting the free XP, getting the free materials. All that that little XP actually adds up to be a good bit, so I really do like it. So we'll keep heading here. And what is that? Is that honey on the ground? Is that honey on the ground? Any new Pokemon over here? There is honey on the ground. Maybe combis spawn here. You give me honey. You give me honey. I would think like combis could spawn here, right? Or Vespa Queens. Ooh, Vespa Queens could be cool. But right now, no Pokemon over here. Nothing. Not one. Any Pokies? Come on, yo. Show me a cool Pokemon. I see a Baneary over there. And I heard, uh, what? I, I just heard a noise. What's up here? I see more honey. Anything up here? No new Pokemon? Man, dude. I would think there would be some cool Pokemon over here. I right, should keep moving on then. Hi, Baneary. How you doing? Keep going this way. And I heard another Pokemon, but I don't know. Okay, there's Sphinx there. I'll grab this. And Joe, just look at this view right here. You can actually hop off the mountains if you want, but you will take damage. You will take damage. What is over here, though? I wonder. Oh my god, it's an Alpha Baneary with red eyes. <laughs> an Alpha Baneary with red eyes. I'm going to head over here. And oh, there's a cave. I definitely want to export a cave. Definitely want to export a cave and then head back. What we got in here? What we got in this cave, man? There's got to be good stuff in here. It's got to be some goodies. Is that some ore right here? Yeah, we got some iron chunk chunks. Anything else down here? I don't want to traverse too far into it, but I definitely want to see what's around here. I definitely want to see what's around here. 
Ooh, okay. No Pokemon in here, though. It's weird, though. That rock's shaking. I really don't want to mess with it, so I'm just going to get this one. And we got a new stone. What's, what's in this one? No new Pokemon, man. That stone's shaking, too. And can I just fast travel now? Yeah, we're going to fast travel back to uh, Aspiration Hill. Actually, I want to go here. I want to go to the Heights Camp. And the reason I want to go to the Heights Camp is because I have one more thing to do with the Cricket Dot. I want to actually craft some Pokeballs so I don't forget. So let's go here. Craft about 21. We'll craft 31. Might as well. Yeah, we're going to use them all. We're totally going to use them all. So, you know, we're going to head this way, and I'm going to head up here. I definitely want to go get a, another Cricket Dot for the squad. Cricket Dot can be good. Can you get up this mountain, dude? Come on, you're a deer. You are a deer. Thank you. Get up there. You are awesome. And I actually found a Monferno over here on my stream playthrough, which is pretty cool. But I need another Cricket Dot. Seeing if the mo maybe the Monferno would spawn over here. But right now, we don't really got anything. I'll head down this way, and I'll just keep traveling. Here's this. I'm just looking for another Cricket Dot to feed, just so I can finish its, uh... It's Pokedex thing. Let's go here, and I know Cricket Dots spawn over here. There's that. I'll switch to my Koala. Don't get rolling here. Then in it, then in it. Come on, yo. Show me my boy. Did we take this dude's mission? Like, what do you got? Let me take this dude's mission. Howdy, feller. Uh, you want some cherry berries? I think I already have cherry berries. Let's see. Let's see what you got cooking. Trees that bear cherry berries. He needs three of them. We have 28. Here you go, dude. Finish the quest instantly. Let's roll out. There you go, big dog. Three cherry berries. Awesome. What are you going to give me? What you got for me, dude? 15 Pokeballs. Dang, we didn't even need to craft any. But, yo, where are all the Pokemon at? No Cricket Dot? What is going Oh, there's a Cricket Dot. I got to feed him. Come here, eat. I need you to eat, dude. You're like the only Cricket Dot here. Eat that. Eat that. Please eat a Cricket Dot. I'll, f I'll give you another one here. Oh, you're going to eat that one. Yes! He ate. Awesome. That should be able to level him up. That's great. I'm going to throw this here. Actually, no. I want to throw Pokemon here. Saravia, you can do that, I guess. And I want to throw my Scyther over here. And then we'll get rolling here. I'm out of here. I'm dipping, yo. Right up to this thing. We're going to cash in our thing. Finish the Pokedex Index on our dude. And then go cash in our main mission for the day. But yo, what a solid episode. <gasps> Drift Plims. Did I catch one yet? I think I did. But you know, I'm going to catch another one. I don't even know if I have one. Chill on me, Drift Plim. I catch this one from the back. That's a good throw. Bang. Come on. One of them had to stick in here. Yes, there's one. Awesome. And okay, we already caught a drift one. That's great. So we just caught two more. Great. Let's keep moving on here. And these guys see me. I already caught plenty of you guys. I could fight a few of you guys if I wanted to. But I might want to. If I want to. Nah, we're good. We're chill. We want to go in with this main mission. And what I want to do right here is actually hand in all my stuff to my professor right here. Howdy, professor. And I'm hoping we can actually get level two. Should be great. Or star, star rank 2 would be awesome. Because we might need star rank 2 to actually head to the next area. Let's see. Look at that. Finish uh, finish Cricket Top, which is great, so I can talk to the lady. And give me 390 points. Let's go. Let's go. We got 500 points. We can actually get our next star level, which I'm going to go do. And he takes me back there. Dude. Okay, never mind. I want to hand in my mission, and he just takes me back there. Like, come on, bro. Get out of my face. Get out my face. But... We're here. We're basically done with today's video, which is great. We just got to hand in our missions, and I think we are going to unlock a new area very, very soon. But he's talking about the place with us. Bibbidi bobbidi boobidi boppy. Dude won't shut up. Let me move on with my game. I got a video to record. <laughs> but I'm really glad we were able to actually defeat Cleaver in today's video. That was like my main goal. We got that done, which is great. And now we can actually start traversing towards the next area. But we can't bring out my weird ear here, which is kind of tough. Cannot bring out my weird ear. Don't like it one bit. So we're just going to have to do our Roy Poly here. And what kind of side missions do I have? Do I have anything to hand in? So I have the Mushroom. Oh, I, they're both right there. I completed two, which is awesome. I completed two side missions, which is amazing. I can go hand them in whenever I want. So next time we go into the Obsidian Field Lands, I can just hand them in. But I can go here, actually, before I hand in my main mission and talk to this guy. Because we have enough XP to get our second star at it right below the face cam jeans. And... We can actually uh, get other Pokemon to obey us, and we can actually go to different areas with that. Lovely new rank. Double star, baby. Run it up. I love the star ranks. I like, dude, I'm liking this game. It's so different. It's so different from any other Pokemon game, but it is so good. But we unlock Feather Balls, which are really good. So Feather Balls are for Pokemon that are flying. They fly in like a straight line, I think. I haven't used them yet, but I was told they fly in like a straight line. So we get a recipe for that, and they're really good for just like throwing it out. 
though. Hi, hi, Mr. Bag Guy. How much bag space do we have? We have plenty. Mm, we might need more. I'm to a new area, and I know there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff, but let's get moving here. Can we sell items? I'm really curious about that. I'm really curious about that. But let's go up here. Do the big old roly poly and talk to the commander. The commander in chief over here, Carmado. What's up, man? He's going to talk about Cleaver. We're going to be like, yeah, yo, we slapped up on him. It was no problem. Didn't really take us too long. He did actually hit me with a mean stealth rocks. And I was not expecting that because I was just like, oh, he's setting up stealth rocks. Like a normal Pokemon movie. You're not really too worried about stealth rocks. But that thing hit me like a truck and almost took my Koala out in one shot. We go to our favorite eating restaurant, the Wellflower, I think it's called. And I believe we get to actually head to a new area. We get smoke bombs. Woo! Yes, sir. Smoke bombs are where it's at. Smoke bombs definitely where it's at. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And oh, I remember this. Okay, so this is a cool little cutscene right here. This chick Vesta, she's kind of creepy. She's going to actually unlock us something that we have to do in a game. It's a big, long side cut side quest kind of like Korok Seeds so if you remember in Breath of the Wild there was Korok Seeds but not to that extent like Korok Seeds were like above and beyond for a terrible item which I don't know what you get if you actually get all these things but there are these things that float around in this uh in the Hisuian region which are called uh what are they called they're called but, 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 but they're purple wisp that's what they're called they're purple wisp so you get the odd keystone right here and that allows you to collect them and all that good stuff and there are I think 102 total around or 107 it says it in the quest once you get it uh, around the whole Hisuian region and I believe after you finish the main quest or the main story your two main goals is to collect all the wisps and finish up your pokedex and then after that I think you can actually get Arceus I think that's how it goes don't don't count on me for that one don't like you know hold me to it but these are definitely something we want to collect so every time we, we see one of these we have to collect these things can I like get him jeez man can I stand in front of it there we go awesome we search it up give me that thing bang poke it through Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dude, this game is phenomenal. I'm telling you guys, if you guys haven't got this game yet, and you guys are a huge Pokemon fan, it's definitely where it's at. I would get, the only reason I would not get it if I was a Pokemon fan, if you only play Pokemon for ranked battles. If you love like solo player Pokemon, like heading through a battle and stuff, this game is top tier. It is top tier. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is going, it's probably going to go down as one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. If not, one of my favorite games of all time. But we unlocked the Wisp side quest, which is awesome. We can just collect Wisp whenever we want. And now we can move on with the main story, which is awesome. And is this a new character? Oh, it's the hairdresser. We unlocked the hairdresser, which is awesome. So we can go there at any time, change our hairstyle, do all that cool stuff, and get more from there. You know, me personally, I don't really care about the hairstyles. I care about catching the Pokemon, doing the quest, and just doing, doing everything else besides that. <laughs> but we unlock it, and we get a new mission. New main mission, I should say. A new lovely main mission. So in order to do that, it's Gather Wisp Founder. That's our secondary mission. And what is our new main mission? I think we got to head inside here. Yes, we have to head inside here and get rolling. So what does the main mission even say? We go to my missions and requirements. It is this one. So, so we got to go back to the commander's office. I go back to the commander's office. So I got to go back to the third floor. Dude, it's such a oh my god, it's such a hassle. It honestly is such a hassle. Why would you send me to the third floor? Send me back down just to make me go all the way back up. It's like, come on, Pokemon. You're better than that. You are better than that. But let's roll up here. Get it again. Hop into the commander's office and talk with our new character. Which, what was her name? It started with an A, I thought. Armado and... Go ahead, other lady. Talk. Let me get your name. Let me get your name, sweetheart. Arezu. Arita's the Pearl Clan leader. Okay. So we talked to this guy, and this guy has a brand new mission for us. He's like, oh, geez, I got something for you, dog. And we talked to him. Actually, we head down here, and we have to go investigate the next area, which is the Crimson Mirelands. And I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy. You guys will see in a second. You guys will see in a second. So, like I said, this game is honestly huge. This game is huge. And I want to go hand in my two missions before we actually go to the Crimson Mirelands. I can actually talk to you. I think he wants something from me. I actually want to do the side quest. Let's see what he got. I think I just need to get him stuff. So, yeah, and it is in the Crimson Mile, which is awesome. So, getting a hold of new wares. I think he just wants uh, a few materials. Yeah, he wants hardy grains. You can find those in the Crimson Mile. So, that's a perfect side quest to actually pick up before we get rolling out. But we're making our way to, towards the new area. And before I do that, I want to actually go hand in those two side quests in the Obsidian Field. So, we're going to do that. But before that, Akari's over here and she's itching to battle with us. So, I'm like, all right, yo, let's battle. My Pokemon could use the XP. So, I forget what Pokemon she has. 
I totally forgot. I think she had like a Pikachu. Did she have a Pikachu? I also forget. Mime Jr. comes out here. What's goody, Mime Jr.? And my Koala's gonna come out here. What level are you? This will kind of give me a good in indication if I'm on a decent level. Because I'm level 20. Show me that thing's like 18, 19. Okay, it's 19. It's 19. I'm just gonna go for this uh, Flame Wheel here. Get off some big damage. Yo, dude, the move animations are phenomenal. And we dump on that thing in one hit. No problem. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. Next Pokemon's gonna be Pikachu. And what should I do? Oh, he goes first, of course. He's gonna do some big damage. He goes twice. What the? This dude goes twice. This dude goes twice. Okay, uh. What do I do? Can I switch to quick style? Ooh. I'm gonna go strong style and try to take this thing out one shot. I probably should use my flame wheel. Rollout comes over here. If I use flame wheel, we probably would have KO'd it. Miss me. Don't hit me. Eat this up, Guava. No! I wanted my XP for my Guava. That's kind of buns. It's okay. We're gonna throw out Scyther here. Lovely little Scyther. And one thing I do recommend is always keep the six Pokemon on you guys. You can use them for a bunch of different things. But more importantly, these Pokemon hit hard in battle. Like, as you guys can tell, we die a lot. We die a lot. Especially my Koalva. But we're going to take this XP. Everyone's going to get some except for my Koalva. But hopefully my Scyther gets a good amount. A nice, lovely chunk. You meet my lovely chunk. Look at that. Oh, dude, Koalva. You could definitely use it. So I can evolve Shanks. I can evolve Badoof. Get some new stuff in my Pokedex if I want to. But she heals my dudes, and she gives me some Stealth Spray. Actually, it's a uh, it's a recipe for Stealth Spray, and Stealth Spray is actually really good. It helps you sneak up on Pokemons, and I might want to uh, I might want to go and craft some. I mean, there is a crafting station at the Meyer Camp Land, so we can do that in the next episode. But like I said, before we actually head over to the brand new area, I want to head here and hand in both my quests. So I got you. I think you want it. What do you want? Springy mushroom or something? Yeah, here you go. I got you one. Don't worry, here's a springy mushroom. And he's gonna give me an awesome new recipe for it. So there we go, complete a quest. Dope, dope, dope. Like I said, I want to 100% this playthrough. So I'm down to do all the quests. Down to do all the quests. Thank you very much, kind sir. We get Cake Lord Beast. Or do we have to craft the thing? Or no, okay, there we go. We completed it. He gives me some Cake Lord and we get the mushroom cake recipe, which is dope. Now we can head over here, cash in this one. And finish up this quest. I wonder what she gives us. Give me something good. Give me some Pokey Dollars. I wish these guys gave me more Pokey Dollars than, uh, than items. She gives me Viva Choke. That's used to actually, uh, craft some revives. Craft some revives. But like I said, yo, guys, look at this map. This map right here is just this area. It's huge. That is huge. I thought that was the whole map at first. I was like, yo, that's big. That's a big map. But that's just one section. We're heading to a whole nother area. Okay, so he's doing this. He's updating our Pikachu and our Koalva. That's pretty cool. I'm to continue my excursion. I want to go back. Why did I run through here? And then he kind of just, like, did that. I guess if we head to Jubilife City, you have to, like, talk to the professor and hand in your stuff. But now we're going to head back to Jubilife City just to head back out and fast travel to the Crimson Islands. We're going to go here. Yeah, I know. And we're going to head all the way over here. Crimson Myerlands. This spot has some really cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to show you guys at nighttime. They do a small and ghastly, so if you're looking for Gengar on your team, this is the place to get them. This is the place to get them. And like I said, a brand new area just as big as the first one. We didn't even explore that whole first one. This game's going to take a lot of backtracking, but for now, we're just going to go through the main story, discovering what we can, and then after the story, we're going to do some post-game content, exploring the other areas, capturing all the Pokemon, and doing it that way. But there is ruins over here, which we have to head through. The Salacian ruins? Oh, Salacian Town. I remember that. From uh, Diamond and Pearl. I think this thing's based in the center region. But yeah, there's a lot of cool Pokemon in this area, which I cannot wait to hop into the next episode. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be heading to the Salacian Ruins and exploring the Crimson Mirelands a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.